In a fantasy photo, how to create a raised design like this. This is made up of a gradient and raised squares. This is for PC or Mac, and it's really quite simple. Go to Layer, and then New Layer. And I'm just going to add a gradient. So just go over to the Gradient tool. The gradient be white to black. That's the default gradient that Affinity Photo uses. And you can click and drag, and you can place it anywhere. You could have it that way, any direction you want. Now what I want is to duplicate that. You could, of course, use a different gradient. You could use all combinations, but I'm going to go with Layer and Duplicate. So that creates a second layer. And the second layer is going to have some transparency or an alpha channel used. So just select the Move tool, then go to Filters, and down here to Colors and Procedural Texture. Then go to Presets, and go down there to Smooth Bars. So Smooth Bars, and you'll see this, Smooth OSC. Don't worry about the mass. So what you can do, simply select it and copy and then minus, and then paste. And instead of Rx, and that's obviously there, the direction, Rx, what you can do, you can put Ry. So now you get that, you get these squares. For purposes of this video, I'm not gonna change the settings here, Rx. But you could put two times, or two asterisks times, so you could put two times like that, so you get thin ones. And also you can modify this, so you can just change 22, you can say, oh, you know what? I want 36, 38, so something like that. Didn't want to make it too small. At the moment, what you can see, the layer completely covers the other layer. And I don't want that. I want to see the other layer below. And I can do that by going over here. You've got R, G, and B. That's red, green, and blue channel. They're active. So they're active, and you can turn it off. Turn that one off. Turn that one off, the blue. Now, of course, now, nothing's active. So you can see, obviously, straight to the back. But what you can do, A, just click there. So click Apply. Window, and down to Layers. But what you can also do to get the raise effects, just click Effects, go to 3D, and of course you can change this in all kinds of ways. You can change the radius, so you can see like that. Get a more sort of blurry, sort of rounded design. Or maybe reduce it down. You can also go here and you can change the spec. You can change a whole range of different options. So you diffuse, just tweak that. Ambient, just change that. Or that fairly low. And also you can change direction. So you can see, create a variety of different designs that way. But also you can change profile. So click there, go through the profiles and you see as you do it, it will change and create different designs there. You can also remove it as well if you want the default one. And then click close, select both of them, and you can then merge them. So layer, and go down here to merge selected. So they merge all into a single layer, and there you have your design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.